Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to Sunday's Report. NFL Week 2 is upon us. It is Sunday, September 15th, and I'll get to a free pick in the NFL aside coming up on this report in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, you can get that free $60 account. Give DocSports.com a trial run. Real cool way to do it. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do to get that free $60 account, click on the link below the video. If you jumped on our college football yesterday with a $60 free account, well, then you had a winning day in college football on Saturday, and uh, we were led by that big six-star play on Central Florida, which was great. 28 points in the first quarter. Never look back. Like them when they come easy. We mentioned this, I think, on a video earlier this week here, and of course on radio, uh, we were talking about it a couple of times this week, about how much when week three comes around. We like week three college football. We did the same thing last year. We jumped into a win streak in week Week three and we won nine of the next ten weeks in college football hitting over 67 percent winners the rest of the regular season so Nice day on Saturday. Uh, winning day against Central Florida got us the top play winner. And now it's about the NFL and a few other things on Sunday, by the way, because we've got a seven-star play in the NFL. We hit our top play last week in the NFL with New England when they thumped Pittsburgh. Uh, but a seven-star play in the NFL for Sunday, and it goes early, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And we've got four plays in all in the NFL for Sunday's week, two off of last week's uh, profitable week in the NFL. And not only that, you get the seven-star play. I've got a two-team six-point teaser. I've got two more sides, four plays in all, three sides, and a 6.2 team teaser. We hit last week's two-team teaser. Going to rack it up and do it again. Let's look to go 4-0 on Sunday, especially with that seven-star play. There's more to it than that on Sunday. I've got WNBA. Now, the league has been off since Wednesday. That was opening night, first round, if you will, of the single elimination playoffs. We won easily. We had Chicago. They won by 29 points. We've got a six-star play going going in the WNBA on Sunday. We are on a 16-5 and run with our last 21 and going back a couple of months now. 42-20-2 is our current run in the WNBA. You don't want to miss out. Playoff game number one, one by 29. We think we got another winner for you here on Sunday. In fact, we like it quite a bit. A six-star elite level play in the WNBA. We also have NASCAR, which by the way, will be posted 11 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night. So if you're watching this before 11 p.m. Pacific, just wait till then. You'll be able to get that NASCAR play. Sunday starts the playoffs uh, in NASCAR. It's right here in Las Vegas to start things off. And uh, our play will be posted again on Saturday night at 11 p.m. Pacific time. If you're obviously watching this video after uh, that time and into Sunday, just make sure you jump on board uh, before the race gets underway. So again, a lot to talk about on Sunday. Four plays in the NFL. We won week one. Let's do it again in week two. We're on a 62-37-4. and four. That's a 63% winning run in the NFL with our last 103 plays. And again, coming off the winning Saturday in college football. Football. We've got WNBA. We look to extend the 16 and 5, 42, 20 and 2 runs. And we look to go to 8 and 1 and 15 and 4 with our current runs in NASCAR plus baseball. Don't miss out on Sunday's report over at DocSports.com. All right, let's jump into what's going on for us as far as the free pick is concerned on Sunday. Uh, we're going to look at the battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, there's that stat that's been all over the place the trend, the angle, the situation situation, whatever you want to call it, uh, that week two road teams that played on the road in week one are on this one and 14 spread slide. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, lessened quite a bit by the fact that San Francisco stayed in Youngstown, Ohio after last week's uh, game in Tampa Bay. They flew up to Ohio. They didn't go back to the West Coast and then back to the East Coast. And so they've been in these parts uh, for most of the last several days as they get ready for Cincinnati. So I really don't care about the 1-14 angle uh, situation that would normally uh, keep you from maybe jumping on San Francisco here if you do like angles. For me, they're icing on the cake. Listen, if I like a side, it's because I like a side because of point spread value. If I find an angle that's 14 and one that backs me up, well, again, it's icing on the cake. I don't base plays off of angles, but 
Again, in this spot, it's kind of less meaningful because they did stay in Youngstown, Ohio. Now, let's get to the matchups. If you look at what San Francisco did last year against Tampa Bay, I don't know, were you guys uh, thrilled with Jimmy Garoppolo's play? Jimmy G, quarterback for San Francisco, he was okay against Tampa Bay, nothing special. And uh, here's the thing. When you look at Cincinnati, they were able to pass for more than 400 yards, learning a new offense. Andy Dalton learning this Zach Taylor offense still threw well against a, a Seattle defense that just look like they didn't have a clue at times against the Bengals pass offense. I would like to see uh, more rushing yardage or at least more attempts on the ground from Cincinnati. I know Joe Mixon is a little banged up. Maybe he doesn't go in this one, but maybe you dump off to Bernard out of the backfield a few more times. Bottom line is San Francisco's run defense did not do too well last week against Tampa Bay, despite the fact that Tampa Bay's pass offense in week one wasn't doing hardly anything at all. And of course, the three interceptions thrown by Jameis Winston in that game. So I do believe Cincinnati can establish a ground game a little bit more in this game against San Francisco and also maybe dump it off to Bernard a little bit out of the backfield. Uh, but most of all, it's about the point spread value. And we make uh, Cincinnati a three-point favorite in this game right now. They're one. Anything two points or more away from our power rating uh, is, is uh, a situation where we're going to jump in even further and look and see if we like a play at that point. And we do here for the free pick on Sunday. So Cincinnati Bengals minus the points. We are good at minus three or less with Cincinnati in this game. And uh, that's the way we're going to go for the free pick on Sunday. All right, listen, thanks for, call, or thanks for checking in. I should say yesterday over at DocSports.com. Hope you jumped on the football package yesterday. We also won in the CFL, by the way, with Montreal. Uh, I had a losing card in UFC, everything else, uh, winners, baseball still going, so we'll catch that record up on Monday's video. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Let's make it weekend sweep on the free pick video report. Yesterday, Oklahoma. Today, Cincinnati. We'll talk to you again Monday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next update. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.